This is Hydrogen Tap. What you're listening to in the background there is my fan in the lab. The focus cell that you're looking at is the same cell that I did the last experiment in with the 100 volts. Now I've got it in the same solution and I brought it up. And we're going to show about 15 amps, I'm hoping to show here and show you what it does with. with between 12 and 15 volts. So let's start it off now. What you're looking at is the voltage on the left across the cell and the amps on the right. Again, this is the focus cell. We're running at 10 amps right now. You can see the hydrogen just pouring off it. Remember, this cell has, has six electrode plates in it. That's three positive, three negative. The rest of the plates are neutral, or I call them blank plates. It's every other plate is a neutral or blank plate. The cell is spaced an eighth of an inch apart. It's between each plate. And the plates are 0 0.028 width. I should say thick, 0 0.028. They're stainless steel. And you can see what's happening here. That's a voltage drop that you're looking at, 9.76. So we're only running at 10 amps, and uh, you can only imagine what 15 or 30 amps would look like on this cell. Again, this is a focused cell. There are 11 plates on it. I'm getting ready to put out a new cell that is, the plates will be 12 by 6 inches wide, and there will be around 25 plates in it. It is not for a car. Actually, you could use it for anything you like, but it's going to be putting out some kind of hydrogen. Also, the new cell will be operating around 60 or 70 amps. I'm going to unplug this now. getting a lot of questions about hookups and so forth to the focus cell. From my videos you can see how I've done it on the Honda. I'm still learning and I'll be hooking it up differently later. The cells that are on hydrogentap.com are for experimental use and therefore that means, at least to me, that you take them and do whatever you want with them. The hookup is up to you. I don't want to, nor could I tell you how to hook it up. The reason for that is all the, all the cars and all the trucks or everything that's out there, people are even using them on lawnmower engines. Everything is different. You can't tell somebody how to hook it up. And I'm sure there's plenty of people out there willing to do that. All my equipment is for experimental use and is to get involved. 
as you can see, the water is clear. This is what I'm using here is lye and distilled water. Now that as the amperage gets higher, you're going to start seeing a discoloration in the water. But on the low amperage, it does not seem to show up. What I'm going to show you is a little more on this. And this is a cell that was in the Honda. I did not clean it off. You can see it's in pretty decent shape, actually. We're going to do a little more experimenting with this model. Got here, we've hooked up two more pluses and minuses, one here and one on the other side. So I've got this hooked up to the minus side and this other one. So the sense what we're going to do is check to see what happens and we have those two extra plates there on the side. I'm going to turn it on now. We've got 11, 11.01 amps. There's your amps on the left there, which is 10.85. I'm going to take it off now. I'm going to let it go down for a minute. And then what we're going to do is take off the plates on the side. Turn it on again and see what happens. Got ten, seven, four. Oh, you watch it. Ten, five, three. Okay, let's hook this up. Okay, without it, 10.45, with it, 10.64, and that's only one plate. Ten six nine. Ten seven. And I'm going to hook it up. Wow. So I'm going to take this off now. 12. Take off the place where 12 to 6. I guess there's no question about it. Brought it over 12 amps when we had the two extra plates. Try this, we're going to try it one more time. <laughs> 